Welcome back. Well, Jack Dunn's lengthy career at UNL has been out of this world. Jack was the person in charge of directing the meteoric rise of Nebraska's premier planetarium. And now we see how Jack has always thought out of the box in this edition of Lance's Journal. Lance? All right. Thanks, guys. Way back in the mid-80s, I always enjoyed an exciting Friday night laser show at the Mueller Planetarium while I was a student at UNL. I didn't know who he was at the time, but the man with the plan at the planetarium was the person that is now bidding a fond farewell to a long and cosmic career. 43 years after he first started working at UNL, Jack Dunn is done. The planetarium is a dome theater. That's the basis of it that instead of a flat screen, you have a dome overhead. Jack Dunn well, says much of the Mueller Planetarium programming is astronomy-related, but... We now have done shows about the deep ocean, about dinosaurs, you name it. Jack started working inside UNL's Morrill Hall in 1971. By the way, when I came here, there were still people walking on the moon, you know. Oh, Lance, the, the photographs that I have over here are... Over the past four all decades, 1011 viewers have come to know Jack as our go-to guy for all things celestial. It happened to have the right uh, material in it that when it hit the atmosphere and started burning, it just burned really nice and bright. And Jack's career has also been burning bright since this fresh-faced young astronomer hit campus and became the first person ever to bring planetarium laser shows to Nebraska. <laughs> Jack's personal revolution proclaimed the benefits of dome screens over flat screens. It's much more of an experience, and it gives you a lot more to look at. Remember, you're using peripheral vision. Jack now has 43 years of wonderful Mueller Planetarium memories. In my sense, the reason why I always enjoyed doing my job uh, overall is because of variety. I'm never doing the same thing. It's sometimes school programs, sometimes public stuff. We did laser shows. And one of Jack's more high-profile laser shows took place at a national championship celebration at Memorial Stadium. I actually uh, worked with people that did a, a laser thing in the stadium after the national championship in 94, 95 there. This 67-year-old Kansas City native is already fondly looking back at his 43-year galactic journey at UNL. And hopefully somebody somewhere out there has a positive feeling about science, then I feel like I've done my job. The Apollo 17 crew. It's in the experiences that you've had with people. And the astronauts spent more than three days exploring. UNL will be hosting a retirement reception for Jack a week from today. And then shortly thereafter, Jack will be moving to Columbia, South Carolina to join his wife who is finishing up her doctorate degree in, not surprisingly, astrophysics. And as you might imagine, Jack will be sharing his extensive knowledge with a brand new planetarium in South Carolina. And it is also very important to note that just because Jack is leaving Mueller Planetarium, that doesn't mean the theater is closing. Visitors can check out the planetarium shows on the UNL campus Tuesdays through Sundays. I love the planetarium, but I've never seen a laser show like that. That's Those laser awesome. sh show, uh, shows are spectacular to just sit back and relax and take, uh, take in. They're really oh. cool to see. They are also very cool, as it turns out, to ask somebody to marry you. Oddly enough, Jack says, yeah, wow. they're averaging two proposals a year if you want to take your significant other to galaxies far away. Hey, it's, it's unique. An idea for, it, idea yeah, for you. I'll keep that in my back pocket, <laughs> so let's not spread that word too much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Lance. You bet. Well,